I was getting those sound glitches with Project Brutality. It must be a problem with the latest version of uh, GZ Doom. Let's hope they don't pop up again. It seems like it didn't this time. So that's uh that's a thing. Don't play this with the latest version of GZ Doom. Okay. Actually I think all the controls are already set. I don't want to jump, though. That's the one thing I'm actually gonna just outright. Actually, like, you don't need to do that. I think you can actually just... I think this is just for multiplayer. I think you can actually disable. I just want to make sure that allow jump off. Actually, I think by default it's also off, but I think that's it. Let's see. There's six levels. Let's do Watch Me Die. The story so far... The past. Your fatigue was enormous. The price for encountering pure evil. Hell was a place no mortal was meant to experience. Stupid military doctors. Their tests and treatments were of little help. In the end, what did it matter? It was all classified as and sealed. The nightmares continued. Demons, so many demons, relentless, pouring through. Far away. The planetary policy was clear. An absolute quarantine was guaranteed by apocalyptic levels of radiation. The empty dark corridors stand motionless, abandoned. The installation sealed. present. A long-forgotten satellite, barely executing, decayed by years of bombarding neutrons, activates and sends its final message to Earth. The satellite's message was horrific. From the planetary void, there came in energy signatures unlike anything sampled before. The classified archives are open. The military episodes code DOOM are not actually completed. A single entity with vast rejuvenation powers, masked by the extreme radiation levels, escaped detection, and its crippled state, it systematically altered decaying dead carnage back into corrupted living tissue. Mutations are devastating. The demons have returned even stronger and more vicious than before. As the only experienced survivor of the Doom episode, your commission is reactivated. Your assignment is clear. Merciless extermination. Now I think with the retribution mod, this is not only more faithful to Doom 64 because it had all of that, the story in the intro, but also compared with the Absolution mod, that's I don't really blame it too much because that mod was made in 2003, so it's a really old mod. But on top of that, this one works much more closely with GZ Doom. I 
actually really have to turn that down because that is really loud. You can actually, wow, you can actually set it the classic if you want. Drop casings. Yeah, why not? Alright, where's the sound? There it is. I did turn everything down. Huh. You know what, I just turned it down on my end. So, should be alright. But also, key differences from the actual N64 game, of course. This is in 16 by 9. Hello. Alright, let me see how that makes it look. Scepter lighting should be set to dark. Would that be in... Scepter options? Or, uh, display options? Show and Doom, Skyrunner, Caps. Alright. So let's see. Sector lighting. Sector lighting. Open GL options. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, there it is. Alright, dynamic lights. Light definitions, clip lights, effect sprites, texture options. Yeah, try when you're the highest you could go. Put the filter at 16x. Enable high risk textures. I mean, my computer should be able to handle this easy. Trim sprite edges. Right, there it is, sector lighting. It's set to dark by default. I, I never messed with this before. I don't think that matters because I'm not using FXA. FOD mode radial. Is what the creator suggests. Ah, okay. Fog, alright. <laughs> I'm not necessarily like, trying to be too faithful to the original, I just wanted to like look nice and play nice on PC. That's why I still have the mouse look on. I don't really think I could play this without mouse look on. It just wouldn't feel right. But uh, thanks for the advice, I think uh, fiddling with my graphics settings a little bit more actually made this look better. Actually, do like that. Oh, hi. Oops. I like the uh, little. I think that's a uh, a touch for Brutal Doom. Is the uh... or maybe that is GZ Doom. I don't know. I never enabled that before. I just know it's on by default for Brutal Doom. Gamma is important too if you missed it. Oh. I think I know where that is. Oh wait, that's not here. Gamma should be set to 2? 
Two seems bright. That seems incredibly bright for my monitor. What it was before was actually fine. Actually, make it a little bit brighter. One ten. One ten is actually too bright for me. Just keep it at one. If you haven't lowered it after buying it, it's definitely set super high. Yeah, maybe my monitor settings are... Uh, I never really messed with my monitor set. Well, I did a little bit. But that was like a really long time ago. Oh. I wonder if that's because I have my texture set high. I don't know. But there's a seam right here. Actually, shit, it is really bright in this room, too. I need to set the... I don't even think I had gamma. I think I had it at a .95 or something. Yeah, this seems like it's more in line with what the... What I remember the uh, brightness being in this game. Factory settings are always extremely high because they wanted to look all pretty in bright stores. Yeah, that's a good point. remember these first few levels pretty well. But like I said, I never uh, I never actually finished Doom 64 legit. So it'd be nice to actually get this finished. I don't think there's any other secrets. I think that was only the one. I ran through this on Brutal Doom just to... just for, like, shits and giggles, and, uh... I, uh, the seam... The seam only appears when I get really close to it. It might have just something to do with, uh... The graphics settings I have it at. I like the fact, because I remember in the original version, the shotgun and the super shotgun didn't really have any animations, they just kind of like went backward. You can actually... S it's really neat that the creator decided that he, you could either have the classic animations and have it completely like how it was on the N64 version, but then he added in these modern... these uh, extra animations for them, and honestly I like the modern ones a lot better. Like, all of the touches that he put into it don't feel like they aren't a part of the game. They feel like they've always been there. Which is great, because Absolution was not really that well done. It was, like, a very basic port of Doom 64 using... I don't think it was even using GZ Doom as the engine for it. I think it was using something else.
It's not finished yet? Well, I think the main levels are finished, aren't they? And, uh, hello, Casey. I've only, like, recently been playing these, uh... The Doom series. Like... Um... Uh, I just got done playing the uh, 2016 Doom for like the first time, and then uh, I played the PlayStation mod of Doom as well as a Christmas mod, and then I played a mod called Ultimate Torment and Torture. So that's the extent of Doom that I've been playing for the most part. And like on the side, I've been like touching on some, some of Brutal Doom, and I tested out Project Brutality a little bit. Not really, at least not more work before it's finished, apparently. The dynamic lighting for this version is off from the original, though I hardly noticed. Ah, okay. This is still feels much more complete than Absolution did. Granted, that was a mod that came out in 2003. I believe 2003. Oh yeah, I forgot to get that. D4D, D4T. I, I'll check those out. I have a bunch that I'm gonna get to. Typically, I'm a variety streamer, but uh, I've just been enjoying like classic Doom as well as the modern ones so much that I've been just like cranking them out. Doom 64 EX. Yeah, there's a lot of people that have either tried to port this or put their own spin on it. Oh wait. There's one secret that I know of. Or that I don't know of. I always miss it, and I don't really know how to get it. A berserk pack in the... Uh, by the way, don't tell me about any secrets. <laughs> I want to figure this game out on my own. Didn't really like the ones of the Brutal Doom 64. like this version over. I like the aesthetic. I like the animations on all of the uh, the monsters in this game. I like how the imps look, especially in this game. In comparison to the old PC Doom. I like the sound design overall better. Granted, these games are still years apart, though. I think there might be one in here, actually. I could have sworn there was. Maybe... Maybe I'm not thinking about it right. I thought there would be one in here. Is 
sometimes the map unintentionally gives you hints, but doesn't seem like it's doing that this time. Yeah, the Revenant's probably the only thing that I probably like better in the original. <laughs> I already know I'm missing. I can never seem to find that first one. The terraformer. I already know that this game in particular has a lot of traps in it. Shit. I remember dying to them a lot. stepping in the light. Hello. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of new faces today. This is nice. Again, not my first time playing this, but I haven't actually played this in God knows how long. That was on the original... <laughs> That was on the actual Nintendo 64. Well, no, nah, that's actually not right. I did play Absolution for a little while. Hi, Joel. See now the uh, the chain gun animation especially is like vastly improved from the N64 version. Like moves a hell of a lot faster. I don't have any keys yet. One's in here. Backpack. <laughs> oh yeah, I think there's a certain way you have to do this. This is different from the brutal, the brutal Doom version. That kind of screwed me up. <laughs> I actually don't remember a lot of this game. Okay, I got one of the... 
Ooh, we got one of the keys now. Which probably should have saved that, but oh well. That's when the retribution episode will come out. Oh, yeah, if they if they end up adding a lot more to this mod, like original levels, besides just the bonus maps, I'll definitely come back to it. Oh god. I forgot about that. Oh, there's the red key. start up again. At least in this game, they don't kill you. They just really, really hurt. Wait, oh. I think. I'm not going backwards, I'm not going Two hundred health again. So how's everyone doing today? Why is this one red? Because it opens something. Is that really it? I do have the right key, so... Is there a switch up here? Nah, it doesn't look it. Okay, I'm not missing any areas. That's good. That's neat. I actually like that in uh, the original.
Now one thing worth noting. The only way that you can really tell the pistol guys apart from the shotgun guys in the original... Like in this one, I think they updated the textures a little bit so they actually look like they're holding a pistol. But I think I still remember... In the original Doom 64... That they were both kind of like holding a gun two-handed. And the only way that you can tell the difference was because was that the the gun was shaded slightly different. Because I don't remember the original uh, the original guys holding handguns. They all look like they were holding shotguns. Oh wait, no, it is. It seems like it's true here too. Yeah, you know what? That was the Brutal Doom mod that added those guys in. Gave them handguns instead of both looking like they held shotguns. found the rocket launcher, though. They're giving me rocket ammo, which means that it might be in this level, but it might be hidden. There's nothing else up there. Oh, okay. So it leads back here. I think that's a shortcut to get to the yellow key card room. I don't know if they have those type of puzzles where, uh... Or they have those type of secrets where you shoot the door open. I do not remember that at all. I think I found everything. There's something down here. I doubt it though. Something out of the ordinary at all? Nah, it doesn't look it. Yeah. There's something in that I didn't get in this room. All those are just traps. Yeah, I'm fine in here. It kind of looks like I did get everything. It doesn't look like there's anything that's out of place. Is 
So I got a bunch of rocket ammo, but no rocket launcher yet. Oh, I did get all the secrets. Now, technically, a little background for this game, it uh, takes, as far as we know, this is actually the same Doom guy that we saw in Doom 2016, and of course it's the same Doom guy from Doom, the Ultimate Doom, Doom 2, and Final Doom. Adds in uh, Spectre Imps. Doom 64 does. I don't know what their official name is, but they're basically the exact same thing as the Spectres who take after the Pinky Demons. As I explained in when I was playing Doom 2016, the Marine in Doom 3 is not the same Marine for- oh, I didn't kill one of them yet. The Marine from Doom 3 is not the same Marine from all of the other games. And Resurrection of Evil is someone else entirely. I should have stayed on that. I love the animate the animation they did for this one too. Where oh there you are. Completely by accident. Oh, I have a, I have a blue key. I don't have a. Uh, I have to go back. And that is the Kaku Demon. Looks completely different in this game. He looks more grotesque. smooth. Oh. How do 
I get back down? Oh, that's how. Oh, there's a secret. Alright, I gotta go back to that. This way. Another secret area that I completely found by mistake. <laughs> I always thought that sound effect was better for the chainsaw. Like, well, in general, the sound effects are just better in this than they were in the original release of Doom, not Doom 64. The sound designer just took an all-around better approach. the red key. It had to be. Like, a slight discoloration gives you, like, a hint that there's a secret around. And it kind of did that in Doom, but, it, uh, in other times they either made it so subtle or it wasn't even there. It wasn't even there. What did I miss? I must have missed an imp in that center room. I actually really appreciate that they gave animations to the two shotguns because, to be honest, it's actually a bit difficult to emulate someone else's work like that and make animation frames, or at least I would think so. I'm a terrible artist. Your will <laughs> is no longer your own. Thank you, Asan, for the follow. I've now made you insane. 
but um this is coming from someone that really just the only 2d art that I really do is stick figures Oh, that just brings that down. Okay. I don't even need that. Jesus, that was my hair. I thought that was a fly on my neck. I don't need that when I'm playing this. <laughs> I don't need to feel things crawling on my neck. There's definitely something there. On the other side, too. This is all gonna open, isn't it? Like definitely afraid of the walls coming down too. Or not the walls, but the ceiling. This is actually kind of the reason why some people actually didn't like this. Bit of an emphasis on traps. There's more emphasis on traps and puzzles in this than there was in the original Doom. Doom, it was more about the enemies and level design. I think the reason why they did do something like that with this game is because it's more... It's just because they could do a lot more with it. I mean, they could do... Please don't do that to me, keyboard. Don't lock the keys on me. I mean, by the time the, uh, the N64 released, they probably could have done more with the PC version, but... I forget, was this... I forget if this was developed by... If this was still developed by id, or the developers Midway. I don't remember if they developed it or published it. Switches on these, are there? Doesn't look like it. I don't think there's anything I can do here. Nope. I don't see any cracks in the walls. Okay, 
here, so I can't enter that via that. Oh, I can't get on top of this this way. Not that I think that helps at all. I can't enter that through there. Okay, so I have a blue key. What can I do with the blue key? Oh, I haven't even gone in here yet. God, they seem really aggressive in this game. <laughs> I don't remember them charging that fast. Not even in the original. Oh, original Doom. Oh god, he hit the barrel behind me. How did he not take damage? Or how did he not take damage away? That's the exit. I don't want to go in there yet. Oh, oh! Okay, so that's another secret. I have to activate these. Or not. There goes that. I hit the wrong one. I don't think you can reset it either. You're like one and done. Damn it. Yeah, I only got thirty three percent of the secrets. Oh yeah, this is a, uh, this is a homage to a regular Doom now. Good, I need that armor. Actually, now I remember something about this mod. Uh, a little, uh, a little tidbit that was interesting. A lot of the sound effects that you're hearing were actually from the PlayStation version of Doom because it's the same sound designer and they use the same sound effects. The music, however, is uh, different. I don't 
really see a switch in here. Oh, there we are. Not that I really need that chainsaw. Damn it. Well, I can hit it again. Here, that's everything in here, right? This way's now open. Wow, how did he avoid that? Cap lock song, so I'm always sprinting. I'm all sprinting all the time. God, he didn't even make a sound. secret or something here, but nope. Oh. I thought there would actually... I always keep thinking there's something there and there isn't. Doesn't look like there's any secrets in here. 
so we'll forget that in that regard. <laughs> Look at all the bullet casings. That's great. It's the little things that matter. Oh, where did that come from? I can't get that yet. Or this. Nope. Okay, so what direction did that come from? What did that open? I heard something. Okay, that opened the miserable torment, but okay. <laughs> uh, that was dealt with pretty easily. that all the enemy types were in this rather than just a select few. But that was because of the limitations of the uh, cartridges for the Nintendo 64. If this game was released any later, they probably could have made use of the expansion pack. Just kind of a shame that they didn't really get that opportunity. yellow key right now. There wasn't really that much this way. Yeah. Right? Right. Ah, here we are. The door was open. I guess it must have blended in. Shit. Hmm. So let's see, what did I miss? key was in here. And I 
went in here. I don't think there would be anything in here. Okay, that just... And I got this switch. So I did everything in that room. So probably not done in here yet. I know it. I don't know how I missed this. Oh, shit. It doesn't look like there's anything on either side. <laughs> Get fucked, stupid zombie. opens another door. But what the hell did we just open? This way. There's nothing in here. No secrets. brought us out here. Nothing new in here. Maybe it did something in this area? Nah. Doesn't look it. Maybe it finally opened this up. Looks like it did. Still don't know how to get that supercharger, though. Oh, 
Oh, thank God. I thought that was... <laughs> I thought the whole room was uh, gonna collapse on me, not just that small area. Okay, that's the blue key. This is probably the last area. this for some reason just makes that activated. Oh yeah, it does. Alright. Might as well, since they give me plenty of ammo to use it up on them. Okay, so hit that switch. Doesn't really look like there's anything else that's useful in here, so let's go back. Oh god. supercharger. That is still not available. Not that it's really needed, but would be nice. Oh well. Might as well just finish it off. shells left. I actually didn't realize that. <laughs> 